shop itself was was a little bit more than just a grocery grocery shop. It, it, it served the shipping. We got to know a lot of the, the crews. The Florence Cook docked on the Irvine side. I, I was on board the ship a lot. Uh, I was, because I loved ships, you know, and I was that age, I was about, I was about 14, 13, 14, and my dog went everywhere with me, and we the two used to go on the ship. And um, the, the cook had said to him, right, well, yeah, one day he'd said to him, right, you're going to have dinner with the captain. And I thought, oh, that's wonderful, you know. So every, it was a, every second Sunday, I would have dinner at the captain's table, you know. So I got to know them really well. And I was always on board it. And uh, that particular time you're talking about, um, I'd gone down to the galley, which I could do all that time. I used to just go in and help myself to a big pot of tea, you know, and, and condensed milk. And I was just sitting down because the ship was beginning to move. And sometimes they did that. They, they moved it from one part of the wharf up to another part, you know, to get to the crane. I didn't think very much about it. I said, oh, we must be moving. And there was always one, don't get on deck before moving, you know. So I just stayed down there. and. Uh, it must have been about 45 minutes after that. Kirk came down and said, what are you doing here? <laughs> We've gone to Ireland. <laughs> so I was over the bar. I was on my way, you know, and oh, there was pandemonium, you know, and then the captain came on to know. He said, oh, my God. So eventually they, they telephoned the police, or the, the radio, the police, and the police got phoned a shop, told my mum and dad, and they said, better just leave him where he is. He's, he's, he'll be safe enough. You know. So I had a nice little cruise to to island me and the dog and then we get shipped back and, and I didn't sit down for a week. I was only 17 when I sailed with Sean McLeod. We sailed out on the morning tide to the children of the crowd. Newly laid straight out a jolly dog. We were lonely, low with iron coal, sailed from Port Madon. 